Okay, so what I've done is I've taken uh, some of the tips that I've heard people mention about the videos I've been making, and I'm trying to make them a little better. So I'm wearing a colored shirt today, so I don't blend in with the board. I've got my mustache on because it is November. In case you're watching this in March, this is not my normal style. Um, so today we're working on unit price, and unit price, uh, the learning intentions for today will be to calculate the unit price of an item. And then the next two will be using unit price. And we're going to use unit price to determine which item is a better deal. Is it better deal to pay for a 2 liter bottle of pop for $2.50 or 6 cans of pop for $3.50? Which one's a better deal? And third, to use unit price to determine the cost of other size, sized items. So if you know how much it costs for 20 feet of 2x4s, how much would it then cost for 35 feet of 2 by 4 Now let's use um, unit price. So first we'll need the definition. Unit price indicates how much one of an item would cost. So people often buy things in bulk. We buy six of something or 12 of something. Um, or we buy the big jar of ketchup instead of the little one. So here's an example. If six cans of pop is $2.22, what is the price of one pop? So when we're comparing price, we're always going to take the price, divide by the number of items. That's how we're going to find unit price. So in this case, it is $2.22 divided by 6, and that equals... 37 cents per can. So we can also use unit price to compare different sizes. So let's say we go to a store and they have two sizes of something. There's a 500 gram bag of rice which is going to cost six dollars and fifty cents and a 750 gram bag of rice which costs nine dollars which is a better deal. So to know which is a better deal, we are going to divide the, back to our last one, price divided by the number of items. So in this case, we're going to divide the price, $6.50, divide by the number of items. And the number of items in this case is, there are 500 grams. So we're going to find the price per gram. And then we're going to compare it to the $9 bag that is 750 grams. So price per gram. So if we do 650 divided by 500, the price is a little more than one cent, or it's 1.3 cents per gram. Now let's check the next one out. Nine dollars divided by 750. It is 1.2 cents per gram, or using dollars, it is 0.012 dollars per gram. So which number is smaller? 0 0.012 is smaller than 0 0.013. So the 750 gram bag is a better deal. Let's look at another example. Now instead of comparing two size items, let's say you know the price for a certain amount of something. So let's say you pay for tomatoes by weight. Okay, Most things in uh, the produce section you buy by weight. And you know that 2 kilograms will cost $7.50. How much is 5 kilograms? Now you could use last day's method, um, which was using ratios and rates. If you know that $7.50 is 2 kilograms, then how much is 5 kilograms? And we could use our fish technique, and we could do 5 times 750 divide 2.
and it would cost $18.75. Or we could use unit price. We could find the price for one thing, and in this case, one thing would be one kilogram of tomatoes. So unit price is the price divide by how many of something there are. In this case, there is two kilograms. So 750 divided by two is $3.75 for every kilogram. So there's our unit price, because unit price is price divided by how many. And now what we could do is we'd use that amount to find any other number of kilograms. In this case, if this is the price for one kilogram, our unit price, how much is five kilograms? Simply times it by five, and you will get the same answer, $18.75 for those five kilograms. So if you want to see any other examples from today, the thing I really like about your workbook is it explains something, then it gives examples, then it gives questions. Then it explains, gives example, gives questions. And at the end, it will give you a practice your skills section. So if you have struggled with any of this, or you want to see it in a different way, your book from page 26 to 35 is the assignment. So in that, now that seems like a lot of pages of work again, but most of it isn't questions. Most of it is how to an example. So go through and read, then try some. Go through and read, try some. And then at the end, there's a practice your skills section. So your assignment for this portion is page 26 to 35. And when that's complete, you'll be ready for lesson four.